Hi, Super Spruce here, back with another Ordinal Markup video, episode 50. Yes, 50 episodes, third series to reach 50, halfway to 100. I wonder if this will ever reach 100, considering how it keeps getting updates. So, anyway, EE34 Decrementi. It's been a while since episode 49. Yeah, 49, I had to do a voiceover, so it just took a while. I have gotten this off camera, just because it helps. I... I, and then, of course, there's these upgrades. They're not all that useful, but still, one, two, three of these upgrades, and one, two, three, four, five of these upgrades. But now here, this, this is the big one. Dark Manifolds. From 3E31 to 6E34, which is crazy. And also, just like, Time of Dark Manifolds will also give me a big, a much bigger multiplier to this dynamic factor cap, which will, I think, help boost incrementy. So... Yeah, but the biggest thing here is this. Let's see how many singularity levels I'll be able to get from this. This is one, two, three, four, five, five singularity levels, which pushes the max singularity level to 76. I'm not exactly sure what I'm really supposed to do with a level 76 singularity, but I mean, maybe I could just see um, what I could do with, the uh, with 76, I could do, could I do this? No, I can't. But I can do this build. I don't think that's all that useful of a build, but it does something, so, um, I mean, if I want a decurrency, I'd probably do this. And I don't think, I, I'm one away. If I got, if I had a 77 singularity, I'd be able to do this. But unfortunately, I can't do that. And this doesn't seem to be doing much. So I probably should try to eventually get a level 77 singularity. Now, if I wanted to get this all of normal player um, divides the challenge eight goals, I cannot do that with any other things other than this. So yeah, that's not going to do much. I feel like I, I really feel like I'm supposed to get a level 77 singularity and I'm just one off with this 76. So maybe I can go for incrementy because I do have, do have plenty of challenge eight completions. I should probably exit the challenge, and of course I should um, get like you know factor boost and everything. So here we go. Just factor shifts until I well yeah, and then I, yeah I need to upgrade the singularity to like something. Um, not exactly sure what singularity I I'm gonna want here. Um, but it's pro probably yeah I need I need an actual build, and maybe this will do something. So if, if I did this build, like I'm um I can actually afford this by one singularity function. So yay! I um actually here wait I already tried this build, but I can I can now have this upgrade which does probably nothing in these sort of these sorts of runs. But whatever it it. It's something. Um, yeah, I, I think I just want more factor boosts. And well, I need to actually go into Singularity for that. I'm already getting a million factor boosts per second. But the optimal Singularity level here is only 56. Which is a little surprising. I would have considered, I would have thought I would have been like 60-something. It's probably just because I have low factor boosts. Because, I, I yeah, I don't have a lot of boosters. It's definitely, I feel like it's definitely quite a bit quicker than before like I'll be I'll it'll be not too hard to reach the base six is now base five and then like that triples like factor boost per second and yeah a million per second isn't even all that much because I I want to get back up to a trillion factor boost and if I want the next set of Omega challenges I need 500 million factor boosts per second I think I really think the goal here is to just try to get that last singularity level so I, I feel like what I should try to do, like first just get these, um, not really going to do much, but it, um, yeah, it's not going to do much. And I think the next one of these singularity um, upgrades here is something like, actually I can just test it. If I did this, it is about 2E33. So yeah, that's not really the best. And I don't, I don't even need, I don't think I need this at all. And honestly, I think it's faster if I don't do it like that. I think there's some upgrade somewhere 
where unspent singularity functions give a gives a minor boost to something. I have no idea what it is, but it's probably something. And now the optimal singularity is 58. So maybe if I just wait a little bit at like singularity 59, perhaps I will be able to. And then, of course, after I get the booster upgrade, on this one, I, I I think I'll be able to get a record amount of factor boosts per second. So, yes, yeah, in a bit. Okay, I'm back like a day later, and you can see I have 1.3 trillion factor boosts. I am getting, let's see, 5.8 um, million factor boosts per second. I did actually do a little off camera just to optimize the singularity level. 68 is still optimal, unfortunately. You know, the nice number is just not quite as good. And I, you see, I have this. I don't think there's much I can do. Other than, like, if I want to really get a lot of cardinals and get that last singularity level. Or may maybe there's something I can do with this. Like, you can see, I can't afford this one by a single level. Maybe this does something or not. I, I have no idea. You can see I have, let's see, yeah, 5.863 million 5.863 then when I do okay I need to actually go to the right tab singularity function this is this go down uh, it doesn't go down but it doesn't go up okay well there's really not much I can do unfortunately so yeah I, I'm looking all around I just can't I mean I guess I could get some olive omega but again I think I need two e33 olive omega if I want another singularity level. So I could try farming incrementy. That's probably what I'm gonna do actually. Like if I um, turn off auto um, factor boosting, you can see, let's see how much incrementing I'm getting per second. It's E91. So this is definitely a plausible way to, to get farther. And especially with um, high singularity, it seems like 73 is the best singularity level for this. This will allow me to um, pretty easily reach E93 incrementy, and then it'll take uh, something like, it's about eight minutes, seven minutes to reach E95. So it may be more like five or six minutes. So maybe it's even less, it seems like a thousand seconds is like 17 minutes and it's like uh, it's probably about six minutes to reach e95 and probably that's where i'm gonna get that last singularity level from so yeah see in a bit okay i'm back 10 minutes later and i can finally get this upgrade and it is enough to get a manifold so there we go singularity level 77 this is going this I, it's gonna be huge because this allows um, builds I cannot make like it's mul multiple builds so I don't really think I need any fact more factor boost I can just I th I'm just gonna go into challenge 8 right now so um, with okay I, I definitely need to I'm um, going to auto procedures and just switch these exit the challenge um, like this and then get back into the challenge so I can go into base 5 so this will allow me to um, well, I'm not, I'm not using the right build, so, let's see. Here, it allows me to, I think, I think the big thing is that I can do, uh, no, that's not, it's not that. I, 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 I thought Singularity 77 was, um, did a lot, but maybe it doesn't do a lot. Um, I'm missing, it's probably because I can do this build. Which probably helps decrementy a lot. So I'm pretty perplexed as to why I can't reach um, omega to the omega four. Maybe it's just because I'm some I'm still somehow using the wrong build. Uh, I'm just gonna exit the challenge and re-enter because I'm I thought I was I thought I could reach that. Um, okay, base five, e thirty seven, e thirty eight. Somehow it's not enough. Oh, yeah, of course. It's the singularity level. That's why. I just need to get it down to 1. So, yeah. E44. Um, yeah, 90, 44 ordinal points. That's quite a bit. 
And I think with this build, I'm, I'll be able to get a lot more decrementy than before, hopefully. So, is it a lot? I need, I'm, I'm getting about E, like 1.5 E29 on the exponent every second. Which is, it's actually not all that much. It's enough to um, start getting dark manifolds in like 30 hours. Which is slower than I'd hoped it'd be. I thought I thought with this, this would be like a revolutionary build that would carry me farther. But no, it's just, it's marginally better. Like even with all these factor boosts, it's, this, is actually, this is actually quite disappointing. I thought I was going to reach, I, th I thought it was going to be a lot better than what I, I'm currently doing. And like with the, with this, I still can't. Um, combine this 42 function thing because with anything else because to get to it I need to spend um, 42 44 50 65 and I, wait no I can do something mate okay actually never mind 65 77 that was the other build that was important um, however I need e48 or no points Okay, okay. So I, I, I thought that I thought that was gonna be both of these builds are gonna be revolutionary. One is marginally better and the other is just useless. Um I th I think does this do anything? Yes it does. So maybe like versus the singularity effect to the one point actually no this this is what I was do getting before. Maybe, maybe if I do this, like this, maybe this will give me, no, uh, it, m it must have been this build that was the one I was thinking of. It's, it's weird. What is, is it really faster to do it this way? Uh, no, it, it's, uh, what, what am I doing? I'm just, I'm just entering the same builds over and over again. Maybe it's this where I was doing this. Um. Yeah, well, yeah, this is the best way. Actually, maybe at this rate, I can probably actually reach Dark Manifolds in 24 hours. It just seems a little faster than I had either previously estimated it. I'm not sure why. Um, it's, oh, it's because I e, somehow have E45 ordinal points. Somehow. I have no idea how I got that. So it's probably those that, that slight extra ordinal points. I can get this, but it... It probably does just about nothing. Like, it's probably just going to hurt my decrementing growth rather than help it unless one of these... Actually, I'll just get it just in case. I don't see any effect to the um, decrementing growth. So, it probably did just about nothing. So, yeah, see it in another bit. Okay, I'm back about four days later. Yeah, it's been a while. I can get this... I can also get up to two E35 dark manifolds, which is probably about enough to be able to get one more singularity level. So let's see, singularity, yes, there is one more singularity level. That means I can go up to singularity 78. And I, I realized something. Um, I need to be using the Omega challenges too, if I wanna get any farther than where I currently am, because um, Omega Challenge 1, you, it, like, it pairs two challenges, and you pl play in, in them, and the thing is that you can buy booster upgrades even in Challenge 6 Plus, and that's what, like, people are, I think that's the key, and I, I don't know why it's been so long until I've noticed this, and also, I didn't notice it myself, I think someone else pointed it out, and I'm like, oh yeah, that's actually, that's actually a good strategy, so... I think that's what I'm gonna try to do next episode. I I'm sorry this if for for an episode 50. This is kind of disappointing. Not really all that special, but whatever. It's at it's at least something. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. Peace out.